Brian Kendrick was all eat for about two seconds. Yes, and now he is all out the door. All out the door. Apparently, Brian Kendrick like considers himself to be a bit of a conspiracy theorist. He had a shitload of things to say on the uh, the wars on 9/11, on Titanic, on the Holocaust, and the Holocaust has buried him here, buried him more than Triple H and his sledgehammer and shovel because he's made a bunch of comments from the past, basically um, even doubting that the Holocaust was real. He says that the numbers were uh, the numbers were increased, the numbers were fabricated, they were <laughs> they were bumped up to the max. He says roughly only 250 it's people like died. Streak. <laughs> just fucking added uh, things on to it. Uh, he went on to say that they bumped the numbers up just so the, the Jews could have their own country. Um, he says that the Russians killed 10 million Catholics during the same period and they didn't receive a country for their loss. And he's went on to say shit about reptiles and families breeding, interbreeding and all that stuff. And aye, so, I mean, I'm not he, he can think whatever he wants to me. It is a free world. You're free to think whatever you want. But obviously that ain't the case in Tony Khan's wrestling company. You ain't free. There's no such thing as freedom because... He comes across as very weird, though. <laughs> Brian Kendrick. Yeah, well, no, Tony Khan, we know he's fucking weird. Don't need to go into that, man. But you can't, you can't think he haw. I mean, don't have any mention of this whatsoever. As soon as he goes to the big AEW, bro. He doesn't even get to wrestle his first match before these comments resurface. And I find it weird. Like, how did they not resurface the entire... I mean, he was in WWE for quite a while. He would run as the, the uh, Cruiserweight champion. It's like, how how come these comments never came around then? But as soon as he goes to AEW, they've popped up out of nowhere. But that's what gets me. It's like... Someone must go searching for this in AEW. But see, but they're only doing it for, like... I don't know... They're... Like, you look at Kenny Omega, did the fucking, like, literally brought up Jim Cornette's, like, health issues for no fucking reason, nothing gets done. And he's supposed to be an executive? Like, call him, call him people it wasn't nonsense? Like, co- he, he, co- it's not like Cornette said something to him first. Cornette wasn't even fucking involved. Where's the professionalism there for uh, Kenny Omega? He was slabbering to some guy saying he's a pedo because he's, he's hugging his own kid and then he, he brings up Cornette's. Yeah, he's, he's the one that wrestled a nine year old reel, so I mean. Uh, aye. Anyway, Tony Khan went on to say we've been made aware of the abhorrent and offensive comments made in the past by Brian Kendrick. There's no room in AEW for the views expressed by Brian. We think it's best for all that Brian be pulled from tonight's card as we gather more information. We'll announce a replacement bout as soon as possible. Uh, he said he's getting replaced, he's getting pulled from tonight's card, but based on what Tony Khan has said, I don't think Brian Kendrick will be... In AEW, he did. He came out and said he can't say any clearer than that. There's no room in AEW for the fuse expressed by Brian. So, yeah, and so so he's gone. So that tells me he's gone. I don't know what the exact rules are. Maybe he can't just come out and like you know fire him on the spot. Maybe I don't, I don't know how it works, but I I don't think we'll ever see Brian Kendrick make his debut. Uh, well, it just. Well, but then I'd again, see Kendrick Bryan in the Impact Zone. No. <laughs> Kendrick Bryan could be in the Impact Zone. But then again, maybe it's to do with proof. You know, may, maybe it's like they know he's guilty, but they have to, he's guilty. Maybe they know he's guilty of saying this stuff, but they have to like get one hundred percent proof before they can legally like you know fire him. I don't know, but it's not looking good, guys. Ken, Brian Kendrick was all elite for about a week. Didn't even get to wrestle his first match. If it's any constellation, he would have jobbed out to Moxley the night anyway. So but it's, it's kind of mad, like how someone like Moxley can just you know go and take all the the drugs and shit and it's alright and he can come back and he's got a redemption arc and he's allowed to cut a promo on how he's going to defeat his demons but some guy expressed his opinion on the Holocaust 11 year ago on the Holocaust and he's he's done oh you're fucked you're gone you're, you're not you're getting your match shit Ultimate Warrior said yeah I mean Mel Gibson you know that shit he says and he still gets movie roles what are you going to do take him out of Braveheart to me it's to me it's just mad you how take our lives but you'll never take my Twitter account to me it's mad how like Actions sometimes are you know not considered to be as um you know bad as words. I don't get it. I mean, I mean Brian Kendrick is it's his opinion. He can be wrong. But I don't see why I don't see why he's been pulled from tonight. It makes no sense, guys. But there you go. Brian Kendrick likelihood is fired from AEW. Till next time, been Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching and peace.